In this week's The Conversation, Pat Brink talks with Melissa Little, the executive director of the Greater Ottumwa Convention and Visitors Bureau, and a person who's been very involved in the community since moving to Ottumwa seven years ago. It's likely you knew the name Melissa Little even before she became the head of the Convention and Visitors Bureau. That's because she's been involved in so many different ways in the community. From Ragbri to the start of Market on Main to the annual Symphony Ball, Melissa's been involved in a lot of ways. And now she set her sights on marketing the city itself. I see the Convention and Visitors Bureau as the marketing arm of the city. We are the red carpet to everything outside of Ottumwa to get people here, whether that's people from Des Moines or if that's people from Minnesota or Colorado or wherever that might be. Little recently attended a statewide tourism conference and learned a great deal about how other cities and areas in the state are marketing themselves. She was pleasantly surprised by what she heard about Ottumwa from others at the conference. And I sat next to the, the gentleman who's responsible, who's the head guy for all of the RAGBRAI planning, um, TJ out of Des Moines. And he was telling everyone at the table how RAGBRAI, the Ottumwa knocked it out of the park, that they now use Ottumwa as the gold standard of this is what we would like to see in our overnight towns. Those who have visited the city recently have commented on the progress that Ottumwa has made over the past five or ten years. However, it seems that some Ottumwans have not thought how their negative comments affect the city's ability to grow and prosper. So lots of exciting things going on and the everyday person doesn't realize that, but if they can have faith and have a positive attitude, because the one thing I will tell you, these businesses come into town and they don't come talk to me, they don't go talk to the mayor, they're not talking to the city council, they're going into the coffee shops and the restaurants and they're striking up conversations with locals and if a local person is sitting there and bad mouthing their own town and being negative about the community, they, they go to the next town. They, they don't even look at us anymore. With everything on her plate, a full-time job, continued volunteering, and four children, Little was concerned about how her kids were handling her now being gone so much. I asked them how they felt about it. I said, are you okay and my, with this, or would you prefer me to be home? And my daughter said, we like you working because you're happy when you're working, and we're happy when you're happy, so you're fine. <laughs> Pat Brink, KYOU, Fox News. The CVB has a list of events and activities happening in the Ottumwa area, and Melissa says more groups are using it to get their events noticed. You can see the full list at their website, greaterottumwacvb.org.